The battle of average Joes versus Jocks has been fought with blood, sweat, and tears. It hurts to be the guy who loses all the time. Hearts have been on the line every step of the way. I need love. I know I love them. But the showdown of looks versus charm. Do you think you're above me? Yes. Has ended in failure for the little guy twice in a row. Tonight our roommates has to end. Right now, I wish I was the one. Tonight, a new lineup of average Joes facing an all new series of extreme twists and turns picks up where the others have left off. I don't drive a flashy car, I don't have a flashy body, but I like to think I have a flashy mind. I don't have a clue. <laughs> I'm big and I'm fat, but I'm good fat big. If you've ever been to a desert, that's really how my romantic life has been led. More determined than ever to prove they can get the girl. I can jump through fire right now. I hope to, to go all the way with this. I can't wait to meet her. Her name is Anna, a model and entrepreneur who also has a business degree. I just want a nice guy. She's moving into a $15 million super yacht off the California coast. <laughs> and like the beauty queens before her, thinks handsome Prince Charmings are on the way. Tonight is the night she learns the truth. That's unbelievable. She's here to be courted by average Joe. Hey, hey, hey! It's feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> There's something unnatural about having a beautiful lady have to pick from this bunch of guys. Somewhere Charles Darwin is rolling in his grave. I'm dying to see these guys. Oh my gosh. Woo! Can I talk to you guys for a minute? It's not generally maybe the type of guy I would date. Once she gives them a chance, their personalities begin to win her heart. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. And romantic dreams become reality. I know these guys aren't like the male models, but I could really see myself falling for a couple of these guys. You, you, you disarm me. I, I'm like disarmed here. She's dynamite. She's like a dynamite. She's a really beautiful person. And then... <laughs> The collision they are all dreading arrives at maximum velocity. I'm here for one thing, one thing only. Yeah. Make these guys go home with tears in their eyes. Oncoming traffic intent on kicking sand in their faces. Beautiful people like to surround themselves with beautiful people. It's definitely on. This is our house now. <laughs> and steamrolling over any chance they have of getting the girl. When Anna sees us, <gasps> she's going to forget those guys' names. Game over. We don't even have to start. <laughs> the most intense nights in average Joe history are about to unfold. Come on, grab a bag. Get these out of here. Can't do this my room. Yeah. Not, anymore. Not anymore. It will get personal. I will put him through a wall. It's going to get real ugly in this house. They don't have a chance. And this time, it will get physical. Nobody talk to me. We're not taking any crap from them. Bullying, womanizing pigs. Old wounds are split wide open. When I stared in Carson's eyes, it was everything that's ever confronted my life in terms of my fears, all the people who've ever picked on me. And I looked him in the face and said, I'm not afraid anymore. They think they know all the twists and turns, but they aren't even close. And the most dangerous and emotional twist yet uncovers who is truly devoted to Anna and who has other things in mind. A few hours, it's all it took, and they betrayed me. I saw everything. Plus, this season, the dreaded bus has one more stop. A chance to even the score as Hollywood's top experts take rejected Joes and make them over, giving them a second chance at love with tips any man can use to improve his confidence and look. Wow. Who gets made over and re-enters the chase for her heart? Well, hello. Hey, how are you? Wow. Can a new look really make all the difference? He's hot. In the end, Anna is headed to the paradise of Tahiti. The water, the sun setting. It was a perfect romantic moment. A beautiful woman on a tropical island. It was very special tonight. I was struck by Cupid tonight. Who will she choose? It's much more than just feelings now. Now it's my heart on the line. I found someone who I could possibly spend the rest of my life with. What will they do to win her heart? <gasps> oh my god. Can they get the girl? Now you feel the spark that's coming from both sides. I think she's feeling that spark too. Can there be true love between a beauty and an average Joe? Oh.
Oh my gosh. My name's Dante Allegri, I'm 34, I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'm the type of person where either you really like me or you don't like me because if you're different in this society, it's tough. But if you can look beyond that and be proud of who you are, everything changes. How you doing? I'm Chuck Artizone. Grew up in Valley Stream, Long Island. My look, people judge me on sometimes, and people come to my house and they expect that I have this mean-looking big dog, and I got a cat. Cat's name is Rachel. <laughs> My name is Art Apicella. My looks are not a tool my mouth is. I have the gift of gab. In 1998, I was knighted the New York State Karaoke Champion. It impresses the ladies. <laughs> my name is Igor. I'm a bartender. I'm very confident within myself, and even though I'm not a GQ type, you know, whatever, I make them laugh, make them cry. I'm a ladies man. I gotta admit that. My name's Jason, and I'm a law student from Atlanta, Georgia. I was a straight-A student for most of my life. I got a 15-50 on my SATs. I think I missed one math. My brother, however, got a perfect score, so I'm, I'm not even the smartest kid in the family. I am a member of Mensa, the High IQ Society. I probably met less women as a result. It's almost like I have some sort of disease. I've been diagnosed with Mensa. My name is Harold Gold. My nickname was Solid Gold. My buddies, they don't even call me by my first name. They call me Gold. My last name's Gold, and they call me Gold. Everybody calls me Gold or Golden Boy or Goldie. Um. My name is Aaron Closet. People often think that I'm a pretty nerdy guy, which is funny because I don't think of myself as being that nerdy. Certainly, I like a lot of nerdy things, but geek is chic now, right? My name is Bill. I'm 21. I'm also an active member of the Hillary Duff fan club. All my friends refer to me as Big Red. Red-headed women. I won't rule them out, but uh, I don't know. Two reds don't make a right. I have to admit, I have butterflies in my stomach. I don't know what is in store for me and what we're going to do, where we're going to go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> where are you taking me? <laughs> my name is Anna Chidova. I'm 26 years old and I'm from Las Vegas. I would describe myself as a very energetic, happy person who always looks at the positive of things. I'm always smiling. I am such a hopeless romantic, it's ridiculous. <laughs> For the last couple of years, I have done a lot of modeling, mostly print work, catalog work, and music videos. Sitting in the back of this big white limo, having no idea where I'm going. And then we pull up to this marina. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? <laughs> this enormous yacht. Oh my gosh, that is so cool this crew just standing out there for me. <laughs> so amazing. I mean, who gets that? <laughs> it's definitely a once in a lifetime experience. Gentlemen, how are you? <laughs> to our surprise, we saw three average Joes from season two, Brian, David and Fredo. You've been recruited to join an elite fraternity. There is honor in being called an average Joe. Here's the bottom line. All that I'm told is that her name is Anna. She's a model. She also has a business degree, so it sounds like she has beauty and brains. Anna sounds like every guy's fantasy. She's smart and she's beautiful. I mean, what more could you want? I'm gonna melt when I see her. Listen up. I'm gonna tell you guys something right now. The producers on this show are sneaky bastards. <laughs> Any minute now, there's gonna be a bunch of steroid pumping, hot oil wax guys that are gonna come walking through this door. 
Do not let them intimidate you. Show no fear. Stop talk it was a good feeling. It was like a, a genuine feeling that they wanted us to have fun and succeed. Do not change for anything or for anyone and stay true to yourself. Leave here with your head held high. We started this job. It's up to one of you guys to finish it. They've been there and they've been through all this stuff, you know, and then they're telling us that it's going to work out. Once I got into the yacht, I was like, pinch me. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh no way, wow. <laughs> it's like a super yacht. It's ridiculous. It's four stories, two jacuzzis, two plasma TVs, all these decks. <laughs> I can't believe it's happening to me. It really is a dream come true. I feel like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> oh, and my room? <laughs> This is so beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I started to cry because it, this place is so amazing. And you know, I come from such a normal family life. My parents immigrated here from Poland when I was a very little girl. And we came here to America with absolutely nothing. This is ridiculous. My, my dad drives in semi. He works so hard. My mom barely sees him. My parents have done everything for me. And I know how proud they are of me. And I know when they're going to watch this, they're going to be blown away by it. And it just makes me happy to feel how happy they're going to be for me. <laughs> I love it. All right, guys, here's the first twist. There's 22 of you here, but only 18 of you are going to make it into the house. When they told us that four people were going to be cut, no one had any idea, so it was a big surprise. We've set up a little boot camp to get to know you guys. If we hand you a jersey, you're in. If not, we're sorry. Everyone was stunned. Wow, this is the first day, and they're already sending four of us home. Gentlemen, good luck. Yeah. We have several drills today that the guys are going to have to perform. Number one is dodgeball. It's pretty humiliating when I went through my dodgeball scenario. So we're going to try to make sure that the guys are prepped and ready, and I'm just hoping none of them will choke. All right, guys, come on. Now I want to see you guys take these guys out. Dodgeballs at the hunks from the previous season. I feel good. Your pump getting cut is not part of my itinerary. It was awesome. I'm knocking about five or six models on their asses, which is what we're gonna do. My first impression of the guys, they seem all right. I'm satisfied so far. I think we might have a winner in the bunch. All right, listen up, guys. Here's the deal. There was also a portion we call the special skills event. Some of them very, very okay. special. Two rubber bands here. No way out this way or this way. Women love magic. All I have to do is rub to the center like this. It's a great feeling when you do something amazing and the crowd just goes wild. <laughs> kind of a crazy look, huh? Yeah, a little different. Name's John Shaw. I'm a sideshow freak. The things that I do is light my tongue on fire, spit fireballs up and catch it. I suck raw popcorn kernels up my nose, shoot them out of my eye sockets. Shoot them out of your eye sockets? Eye sockets, yeah. They go through the tear duct, through the nasal chromic duct. But I have a pretty high IQ. I have a 163 IQ. Everyone was waiting. It was kind of silent. All of a sudden, these doors open. <laughs> Dante's talent. Um, I was still comfortable with my manhood, even though he came through the door like that. But I don't know the last time I've ever laughed that hard in my life. <laughs> Dante and a leotard, you know, it wasn't a pretty sight. <laughs> If I make you laugh, you forget about your pain for a while. And that's the greatest blessing, when you can take someone who's really down and turn them around. It's, it's a great feeling. That's what I love to do. When we return... I want this more than anybody. Four average Joe hopefuls learn they won't make the cut. You never want to be the last kid picked. Then, 
it's Anna's turn to meet her suitors. I'm dying to see these guys. How will she take the shot when the bus arrives with Average Joe? Oh, my God. mock date to show how we interact with the female gender. It was Larissa from Average Joe Hawaii, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> so where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? So, uh, where are you from? There was some blame, you know, just what's your name? Where are you from? What's up with the chaperone? It's a shame to see an Average Joe keep losing. You haven't touched your Windex. I need to find somebody that's going to win. I want you to know that I used to date Fabio. The last drill today is more dodgeball. We basically have an automatic weapon to shoot these dodgeballs at him. We're hoping these machines prepare these guys for what they're going to go up against. I was nervous because they were going to cut four people today. I love that kind of stuff, man. Things flying at me. My reaction's working. I'm thinking there's at least four guys that are worse than me. I just didn't expect them to be coming as fast as they were, and I don't have the best reflexes, so... Oh. I got nailed in the face. I was really impressed by some of the guys' skills. They put up a pretty good fight. My heart is little simple things. Little note on the car, I love you, I'll miss you today. I'm yours. Very simple. First time I've been single in nine years. I have no idea what to expect. But I'm sure they're probably just as nervous as I am. Uh-oh. <laughs> First of all, you guys did a totally awesome job. And I wish all you guys could be going, but only 18 of you are going to make it into the house. It was very stressful. For some of us, th this would be it. All right, guys, I'm going to call out number one. Igor, come on, baby. Get on the bus, brother. My name was Cole. I grabbed my jersey. I was an average Joe, baby. I'm an average Joe. Chuck. Gino. Harold. Jason. Good job, man. David handed me my jersey. I felt like screaming at the world. Damien. Josh. William. It was heartbreaking waiting for those names to be announced. Nick. Aaron. The other Josh. Arthur. Congratulations. I'm very excited. Get on the bus. All right, man, this is a little bit of funny love in here. Dante, what's up, bro? You know you're going to get it. <laughs> they kept calling names and calling names. And at one point, I turned around and realized there was only four people behind me. At that point, my heart just dropped. This is the last shot. Only one of you can go on from here. And it's going to be Clay. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. You never want to be the last kid picked. It hurts your pride a little bit, you know? But at the same time, I was happy. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed, but you know, it wouldn't be the first time I've been excluded for something because of the way I look. Good luck, man. I think that we got a really good shot this time. came to this beautiful mansion that Robin Leach would not even know how to describe. That's how beautiful this place is. Somebody made me a sandwich. A sandwich. Nobody even introduced themselves or said hello. You're already eating. I can't believe it. Well, well, why not? We all darted like vultures for the kitchen. Igor just started chowing down on food. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. I think his body can process anything he happens to put in it. It's feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> Igor looked like John Belushi in the movie Animal House. He just kept chowing down food, down like a trash disposal. I was the craziest kid in the class, craziest kid around the block. Everybody knew who I was. I was the class clown of my high school. I like to do things that are fun and be myself and uh, doing some outrageous. You want to see something? No, you're staying away from all that. <laughs> you want to see this? We got two balls. You pack 18 guys into a house, and not everybody is going to please everybody. Like, girls especially love that stuff. 
Yeah. Nick, he has a little bit of a creepy undertone to him. This whole magic thing is kind of off to me. Magicians get the real pretty girls. So. Do it! The jury is still out on Dante. He's not psychotic, cool. but he desperately wants you to believe that he is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go go around. Tell me who you think everyone looks like. No offense, Love. you look like the Messiah. The Messiah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, nice, friendly Jesus uh, look to me, but uh, I'm not a ladies' man. I usually wait for the women to make the first move. We might have the Messiah on our side. He's got the Jesus look. I would love to find the love of my life. My mom and dad have been married for over 27 years, and that's what I look up to. I mean, I do believe in love at first sight. I really do. I pretty much know right away whether or not I like somebody. So I'm really curious and dying to see these guys. Tomorrow we will meet her on the beach, and that's our chance to wow her. There's something very unnatural about having a beautiful lady have to pick from this bunch of guys. Somewhere Charles Darwin is rolling in his grave. Up next, a beautiful model with hopes for love at first sight gets her first jarring look at the average Joe. Oh my gosh. Then later, who is first to be sent home rejected? And who gets this season's secret weapon? A second chance to win her heart, made over for success. The captain's taking me to the beach, and finally I'm gonna meet these guys. I'm starting to get a little nervous. <laughs> I don't see them. For the last couple of years, I've been taking all night classes, so I haven't seen any reality shows at all. I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen. I'm standing there and I'm waiting. It seemed like forever. My heart's pounding. I'm thinking, what did I get myself into? Very nice to meet I'm you. I'm Dante. How you doing? Oh, no. You're welcome. Well, I have something for you. I'm going to make you a gift. Dante. <laughs> it's for you. Thank you. You're welcome. It's so sweet. It's very nice meeting you. He wasn't exactly what I was expecting, but he came out with such a big smile and so sweet. I'm really happy because I'm here and I have a chance. She's a really beautiful person. Oh. Hi. Hi there. I'm Aaron. Hi. She's a redhead, which is very cool. I like redheads a lot. My mother's actually a redhead. I'm proud of my virginity, and, you know, I'm saving myself <laughs> for my wife, and I think it's just going to be a great gift to give to her on our wedding night. I'm Clay. It's very nice, nice to meet you. Golly, she's beautiful. I'm not going to backstab anybody. I'm just going to be myself. I'm going to tell jokes. I'm going to try and win her over. My name's Nick. Nick? Anna. Yeah, I'm actually a magician from Tampa. Maybe I could show you something later on. I want this. I, I want this more than anybody. I'm not going to say I'm like a Brad Pitt. <laughs> um, maybe a seven. You know, I think that's a pretty good number. Hi, miss. I was wondering if you could help me. This morning I got on this bus and I thought I was going to the airport and I, I don't know what's going <laughs> on. Woo! Must be kidding. Woo! <laughs> Woo! 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 Come on. Hi, Joshua. <laughs> Hi, Joshua. Beautiful. <laughs> we all this talk about blonde brunette. Yeah, there's the twist already. I'm sure I'll see you later on. At Thank the cocktail you. party. Absolutely. See you in a little. I'll see you down. <laughs> 
I'm not the, the hottest physical specimen, I'll be the first to admit it. I'm five foot five. Height is a huge blocking point for women, and that's a stumbling block for me. Hi, how's it going? Good. I'm Matt. Anna, very nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're adorable. This is so strange. Hi. Hi there. I'm Aaron. Anna, very nice, nice to meet you. Oh, nice What's to meet going you? on? I'm Excited. Chuck. Hello, Anna. My name is Arthur. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Good. You're stunning. This all seems unreal to me. It doesn't seem real, but it is. These are for you. Oh, chocolate. I would definitely call myself a catch. I honestly feel like I've got everything going for me, unless you're looking for tall, dark, and handsome. Sand's kind of hard to walk in. <laughs> I haven't dated a lot. How you doing? I'm Josh. Hi, Anna. I'm not a monk yet, but it's definitely difficult. I'm Damien. Nice to meet you. Anna, very nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. I'm Bill. Bill, Anna. Nice to meet you. Fellow redhead. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> I'm Nathan. Anna. Anna. Nice, nice to meet you. Aww. I think the introduction went well. You know, it was courteous and polite and got a hug, so that was good. Hi, I'm Dan. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Dan. I would say I'm pretty shy around women, but I'm pretty successful and I can offer her a good time and someone that she can always talk to. <laughs> My name is Gino Caffarelli, born and raised in Queens, New York. Hello there. I deal with restaurants and hotels. Uh, I make sure that they're pest free. Where's your family from? Poland. Really? Oh, my family's from Italy. It's easy meeting people, it's easy meeting women, but it's hard meeting the right one. I look forward to getting to know you. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. I wasn't nervous at all. I'm not nervous around beautiful women. Hi, how are you? Good, yourself? You good. My name is Igor. Anna. Nice to meet you. Very nice. I love redheads and, uh, you know, I look forward to getting more acquainted with her. wasn't exactly what I was expecting, but, you know, I get it. It's not generally maybe the type of guy I would date or, you know, maybe, you know, be physically attracted to. I know these guys aren't like the male models or beach studs, you know. I think it's going to be hard to cut some of them, though. But I still feel like a princess. They're so sweet to me, and it really makes me feel special. At least I know they're not psychos. I know they've been screaming. <laughs> I'm in a sophisticated mood to mingle with a sophisticated lady. She just materialized in the sand. How did that happen? That's so ladylike. She's got a shawl. Rub awesome. one out. Welcome, Anna. Hi. How you doing? Good. You guys having fun? We're very fun. Yeah. yeah. What do you have? Champagne. Champagne for the beautiful lady, please. I'm gonna wait like a minute. Before I knew what had happened, there was a swarm of bees around her. What are you guys all doing? I wait tables in Midtown. I'm actually a financial analyst. I have a MBA in business management. I'm in a band. When I came up to the party, and I had all 18 of them come up to me. It's extremely overwhelming. You know, there's only one of me. This is a lot like the bars in Milwaukee, though. There's one good-looking girl. <laughs> Surrounded by a swarm of guys. I wasn't going to throw elbows in there to introduce myself. I was like, I got to get my ass up there. This ain't the time to be sitting back. Once again, I'm Harold. My nickname is Solid Gold. I am currently unemployed now, thanks to making it to this uh, show to meet you. When somebody's like, you know, I lost my job because of this, and, you know, so you better pick me. I didn't like that. That was too much pressure for me. Did you guys see my yacht? She okay. seems really nice, but yacht. there's like 20 guys around her. Uh, exactly. So I came back here to finish my food. Uh, oh, cheers. Thank you. Your first drink with the boys. Cheers. We're not at a bar where you just walked in and you see a hot chick that you want to go talk to. We're at a cocktail party. She's a guest of honor. That calls for a protocol, which went out the window. Hey, guys, yeah. thanks for keeping your company while I was eating. <laughs> That was kind of indicative of the scene that I don't like. It reminded me of the New York bar scene where these guys ready to pounce on the girl and try to be the, the guy who wins her over with these one-liners. We'll get our chance. <laughs> I'm gonna bust out some magic on her. Okay, we'll say this is ball number one and this is ball number two. What that is kid's it? a geek. Oh, the magician. magician. Are, we, are we talking trash behind this band? No. 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 Tap here. <laughs> Tap here. Just like this. Go to your It's up there. <laughs> nice. Whoa, whoa. We call a magic boy in the house. You know, if he didn't do the magic tricks, I don't know, you know, what he would have to offer. 
My mom said, wouldn't that be funny if you could meet a woman who does magic tricks? Pick a card, any card, any card. No, let me see it. And sure enough, tonight, I meet Anna, and she showed me this amazing card trick. Is it this card? I got it right! <laughs> I mean, I could jump for joy and get stuck right now. I mean, I'm, I'm very excited. I didn't actually come and say hi to you before because there were too many people up there. I was Aww. frightened at first because I felt like I needed to say something interesting. I like Good. your earrings. Oh, thank you. Do you really? Did that hurt? Yeah, yeah a little bit, yeah. But the second I sat down and I started talking with her, you know, I mean, she is a person that definitely makes you feel comfortable. What do you do yeah. in L.A.? Construction. I did construction. Oh, yeah? I could prepare concrete slabs and weld and do tiling and all that stuff. I like a girl who don't mind to get dirty. Yeah. That's awesome. Totally uh, more or less what I'd be looking for. What's your last name? Zivotowski. Oh, wow. What's that yours? sounds very Polish. Yeah. Our background's actually very similar. She's from Poland, I'm from Russia. So we're almost like neighbors. See, mine is ZH, which is Z, uh -huh. which is kind of like SH, which is Sh. I definitely got a good vibe. To the point where I could see myself with her, I have to get, I have to, get to know her better. Because I yeah. just turned 27 in May. OK. So, you Gemini? Know. Gemini. But I'm going for it now. There's chemistry between us already. Friends or no friends, I like these guys, but I'm going for it. Whatever it takes. Please pick. <laughs> so, uh, have you been in any long relationships? Or? I was in a two and a half year relationship, and it kind of ended in failure. Um, she uh, broke up with me for my best friend. I had a couple of serious girlfriends over the space of high school and college, but I wouldn't say that I was a player. I walked off the bus, and, you know, I was <laughs> didn't know what to expect, and I walked off, and I was just like, whoa. <laughs> the smile. It's a long just, walk, too, huh? Yeah, and I was smiling like... and smiling and smiling, and then, hi. The conversation seemed to go pretty well, so I feel like there is at least some basis for her to want to maybe get to know me a little bit more. So I'm hoping that she felt that, too. I, I guess I look for someone who's just as, as a good heart. And when I first saw you and, and you, I saw the way you were interacting with everyone, I could tell you were genuinely interested. So it was yeah. really cool. I'm a little worried, yeah. From the impression I got, she thought, oh, well, he's a nice guy, but there's nothing that stands out. So I'm hoping that there was something that stands out, and I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm definitely in the upper tier of average Joe candidates. You know, normally, I like to uh, give a girl a kiss just to get the uh, sexual tension out of the way. <laughs> She's attractive as hell. She's got a great body. So, People yeah. tell me I look like Ben Affleck. I like JFK Jr. a little more. But the guy's dead, I mean, you know, I'm the next best thing in line. Uh, I think it went very well. Well, you know what, you better make sure I make the next round so we can oh. continue this. If she's into it, that's great. If she's not, then let her find someone that's better suited to her. Um, I think she'd be crazy to do that, but you know. OK, that's his style. Great. Not my style. You make the stars at night shine with a brighter light, oh, Anna. <laughs> The mountains and the moon pale in comparison to you. No, she's in the house. Oh, Anna, <laughs> you are a dream come true. That's so sweet. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. Thank you. A completely different game than it was before the girl. People have changed in like, <laughs> like that second. Hi, Dante. It's nice meeting you. It's nice meeting you. You, you know what? You have an incredible energy about you. That's why I saw you. I was like, wow. I'm very, very passionate about everything I do, and it comes out of me. That is a totally different Dante than the man we've been living with. Look at the soft side coming out in him. You're a really wonderful, warm person, and you, you know what? You have a lot to give, and it's, I can just read it off you with your energy. Thank you, Dante. Well, you're welcome. I hope I have a chance with you. <laughs> Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. I'm just shaking from relief. I know, I knew you'd be shaking. That it's <laughs> on with. You did it. I just wanted to give her something special because she's the reason we're here. <laughs> yeah, she's great, man. She's so nice. I can't wait. Once I got to talk to them, I'm actually kind of really excited. Anna has made up her mind. Six will be sent away rejected. The first person I have to say goodbye to is... The elimination is next. really sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was so 
great meeting each one of you. I loved it, and I'll never forget it. But I do have to say goodbye to six of you. The first person I have to say goodbye to is Aaron F. See ya. I was shocked to hear my name called first. I thought that everything went well. I have complete confidence in myself, and I guess I just, you know, wasn't her type for whatever reason. I'm so sorry. It's too bad. Maybe a little something was a little rigged. I feel like the first elimination is completely based on physical attributes, and I thought it was next to impossible that my name would be called, because there are definitely some people that I think are a lot less her type than I am. But at this point, I'm over it. The next person I'm saying goodbye to is... Harold. I think she made a big mistake in her part. I was going to take her to a place that she's never been, mentally, physically, uh, the whole nine yards. I'm so sorry. That's OK. Nice meeting you. Very nice meeting you. Take care. It's disappointing, but, you know, it just didn't work out. The next person I'm going to say goodbye to is Damien. If there were a couple of variables that had been different, I might have been able to make a better connection with Anna. Good luck to you, OK? Thank you. Take it easy. I'm disappointed, but at the same time, she has a house full of guys that are fantastic, so I hope it all works out for the best for everybody. I really enjoyed talking with the next person, but it just didn't seem right. Bill? Tonight, with 17 other guys around, it was difficult to talk to her. I'm so sorry. No way. It was great to meet you. I'm sorry. All right. Sorry. Well, I think if I had gotten to know her a little better, or she had gotten to know me a little bit better, then maybe she would have changed her mind. But the matter of the race doesn't matter. Matt, I'm sorry. There's a definite large handful of guys that are still in the pool. You know, you look further down the road and you know some model chick is not going to be ending up with, with some of these guys that are sitting here. My final decision, I have to say goodbye to you. I was just very shocked and upset with the way it ended. I worked hard to get here, and I put a lot of effort into it. I'm so sorry. I didn't think I'd be the one to go. Everybody here called me the magician. I guess I need to go home and work on the magic. of you, I had a spectacular date. I'm sure there's going to be many more. I'm so happy you're here. Good luck. <laughs> when we return, Hollywood's top experts make over one rejected Joe by rebuilding his confidence and look. Who will they choose? What are the results? The dreaded bus has one more stop to make next. Each week, one rejected average Joe will be selected on the bus for a makeover and a chance to return with a new and improved look. When I first heard about the makeover, I was really shocked because I wasn't expecting it. I wanted to take on the challenge. I got a chance to talk to a nutritionist about what foods to eat. His condition was horrible. He was carrying over 45 pounds of body fat on his frame. I designed an entire food program for Nick. We've got a lot of body fat to drop. 
My personal trainer, his name was Jack. Speaking to him, he hasn't trained in years. Two, three. Those are only five pounds, by the way. Yeah. Jack really motivated me and boosted my self-confidence. Nick's eyebrows were real creepy, and they needed some work. It hurt. Should I lie to you? A life coach is someone who helps people get to the next level in their lives. Seeing Nick's tape, there were some things that shot out as definite problems. Talking about past relationships is a bad idea. Kind of ended in failure. Um, she uh, broke up with me for my best friend. You're leading as if you're a loser. By seeing myself on tape, it was a big turnoff. I said, I, I can't believe I did that. No matter what I do or where I go, I'm always showing magic. There's I, something I really weird about that. Try and share something about yourself that's not magic. Talking about magic all the time is boring. You become a freak attraction instead of being a person that they could be interested in. OK. From now on, when I meet people, it's not going to be, hi, I'm Nick the Magician. It's, hi, I'm Nick Parlin. Nice to meet you. I had my surgery done by Dr. Patrick Abergel. Hello, Nick. Nick was complaining of having puffy eyes. Good. You're starting to get these bags under the eyes. You've developed this big fat pad right here and a little right here, too. Piece of cake. What we did simply using laser, we made a very small cut and remove the, the fat pad that we're creating the puffiness. You will see that he will have a more defined jawline. He, he will be less self-conscious. It's going to also delay his aging process. I've never really been impressed with my teeth. Nick's top teeth weren't aligned properly. With veneers, we can make his teeth beautiful. I think it's a great improvement. His teeth are perfect now. I got some new clothes from Hugo Boss. I got my hair done by the number one stylist in California. Like your hair right now? No. I'm excited. This makeover has been incredible for me. The reaction that I'm hoping to get from Hannah is wow, he really looks different. Now it's my big opportunity to show her that I'm new and improved. It's my big break, so I'm coming back. Average Joe next week. It's the fast <laughs> and the furious. I'm here for one thing make these guys go home with tears in their eyes. Joe's had their suspicions this day was coming, but they never thought it would be like this. This is our house now. The most intense nights in average Joe history I'm just as strong as you are. are about to unfold. I will put him through a wall. They're going to have a war on their hands. And hearts will be on the line till the very end. I was struck by Cupid tonight. Tonight, I found someone who I could possibly spend the rest of my life with. New twists every step of the way. I don't know Anna. I haven't met Anna, but I'm going to dominate here. And the first hits at top speed. Average Joe next week.